Hey everyone, it's Steve at Muse Themes. Let's take a look at our new before and after image slider. Uh, this is the latest widget release we've put out in our toolbox. So if you just scroll down to the bottom of the toolbox in your library panel, you'll see 020 before and after image slider. So just drag that on another page as usual. And then uh, we get this box that appears. So the first thing we need to do with this widget, um, it's pretty similar to other widgets. We need to upload our image assets along with our site. So the way that we do that um, is we'll go file and add files for upload. And you can see that I have these two images, before one and after one.jpg. So before one is just a simple image. And after one, I've just modified the same image. We've put the logo on it and obviously we've changed the color. So you'll want to use identical images in terms of sizing. This widget doesn't really work with two images of different sizes. So right now these are set to 900 by 600 pixels. So let's just select both and click open. And what that did was, if you look in your assets panel here, you can see that they're both added to the site for uploads. So when you publish, they're going to go with it. Okay, so then the next thing we need to do is we need to link those assets to the widget. And the way that you do that is in the flyout panel for the widget, you've got before image, and you just need to enter a name. So in this case, it's before1.jpg. And then the after image, of course, after1.jpg, okay. And then box ID, you've seen this before. This is if you're going to use multiple instances of this widget on a single page. So for now, because I'm just using one, box one is fine. If I was to put two or three of these, I could call them box two, box three. You just need that in case you use more than one. Okay, and then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scale this widget a little bigger. Because our images are about 900 pixels wide, we probably want this a little bigger. Okay, there you go. So we've got everything linked up and let's preview it in the browser. Okay, so there you go. So it's loaded in the two images and then you can see when you move over it, there's a before and an after label. And if you drag this, it displays either one of the two images. So it's pretty slick and it's really easy to set up. Uh, let's go back to Muse for a sec and I'll show you another option here. Close that. If So if you click on the widget and click on the flyout panel, there's an option to hide the labels. And I'll show you what that does. So let's click that. And again, preview it in the browser. Now when you mouse over, it doesn't show before and after. It just kind of grays it out a little bit. But of course, the functionality is still the same. So that's it. Have fun with this new widget and be sure to send us what you're making with these widgets. We love to see them out kind of in the wild and what you're doing with them. So if you have any questions, as usual, feel free to send us a note to support at musethemes.com. Thanks again and enjoy.